everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my vinyl channel. It's been a long time since I've made any videos regarding records and that's just because, because of the global pandemic. I haven't set foot inside a shop other than the supermarket since March. And where I am, we're on a local lockdown now in Caerphilly County, uh, so we can't leave the borough. But prior to that lockdown, I did buy some singles at auction. I bought 190, around 18 to 20 quid, which is a lot. Um, they came in a, a, some are loose and some are in a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share them with you today. I have got some albums I've bought from places like eBay and some from Amazon. Um, but we'll do those in another video where I can share everything. But I thought I'd go through these singles. Now, out of the 190 singles that I got, one was a flexi disc, which was Golden Wonders, um, Britain's Noisiest Crisps. And the second one was a personalised one, and the third one was Rolf Harris. So those three just went in the bin. I'm just going to get the first lot out and we'll have a look. Okay, so the first ones we can go through are the ones that don't have any covers. Uh, the reason I want to get this done is I want to get them cleaned up and sleeved, so I can listen to them. And I've got hundreds of singles to listen to. Okay, so some of these are terrible and some of these are really good. So these date from the 60s right through to the 90s, so it's quite a big, and I think they're a collection of one person. So the first one we've got is Spanish Harlem by Jimmy Justice on the Pie label. I've had to buy a load of sleeves because I'm almost out anyway. And then we've got, let's have a look at this. this is, the, I hate it when they don't say whether it's side A or side B because some of them don't. This is an EP and it's a Columbia EP called Call Up The Groups and it's a medley. So it's, um, with new words to new needles and pins, you were made for me, I want to be your man, the Baron Knight. Uh, so it's the Baramites with Duke Diamond or Demond. And on the other side it's Diane, Bits and Pieces, Twist and Shout, and that's it. So there's three on that. So it's a medley of songs. So these are the ones where I think they're a little bit dodgy because the, the next lot are really good. Though there are some, there is some really good stuff in here. So this one is You Make Me Feel Brand New by the Stylistics. So they're very dusty, as you can see. They're not too scratched, to be honest. There are a few scratches on some of them, but this is going to be a long video. So the next one is Jerry and the Pacemakers, and it is Fairy Across the Mersey. So as you can see, there is some dust on there, but they're really nice and shiny. But I'll put them through the spin clean, clear, whatever it's called, later. Then we've got uh, The Searchers, Don't Throw Your Love Away. Got this one's from see this is one from 1987 and it's uh, Sabrina and Boys the Summertime Mix. So we said they varied from the year. This one is uh, Lena Mattel and the song is called the A side is One a Day at a Time. So these are the ones without sleeves. We've got a load of picture sleeves from the 80s as well, which is great. This is uh, Cilla Black, Anyone Who Had a Heart. I love Cilla Black's fish. I love Cilla Black singing that. And then we've got uh, The Bachelors with Marie and You Can Tell on the Decca label. Columbia Green label now. And this is Shirley Bassey with These Hands and The Party's Over. So that's that one. So as you can see, this is... <laughs> this is Abba and Mamma Mia. It's on the Yellow Epic label. Then we've got uh, Stars Get Ready, side B, and Stars on 45, uh, which is Star Sounds. So these were from the 80s, I think. Yeah, 81 on the um, Fade In CBS label, which is the lovely label. On Mam Records, we've got Gilbert O'Sullivan, Breakfast, Dinner and Tea on one side and Happiness is Me and You. Then we go at Kathy Kirby, um, The Sweetest Sounds, 
on the Decca label and Let Me Go Lover. Some of these don't say what their name would be, that's why I'm mentioning both songs. So this is Harry Seacombe, if I rule the world, if you remember who Harry Seacombe was. And then we've got Freddy and the Dreamers next. Which I will and I understand. So that's on the Columbia Black Label. Another one on the Columbia Black Label is Cliff Richard. Um, again, it doesn't say which side is A and which is B, so it's double-sided. Uh, don't forget to catch me and what's more, I don't need her. Paul doesn't like um, Cliff Richard. Next we've got <laughs> Bernard Cribbins um, with One Man Band and the Gossip Calypso on the red Parlophone label. Got, uh, different, yes darling, a different Decca label here and we've got Tom Jones, I'll Never Fall In Love Again and Things I Want to Do. And we've got, this is Jim Reeves. And this is on the Black RCA Victor label, Anne-Marie, and I Love You Because. On the MGM Blue label, we've got Love Me For A Reason by the Osmonds. Cool. Another Decca label here, and again, it's Tom Jones with What's New Pussycat. I like that song, actually. Um, we've got Malcolm Vaughan, and we've got Guardian Angel. This is his master's voice and the wedding and we've got this is a Shirley Bassey EP so it's got a couple of medleys on it so we've got uh, kiss me honey honey kiss me and then as I love you so two tracks so an EP on each side lovely again another one from the 80s this is Madonna crazy for you I like that song and we've got Brotherhood of Man with Angelo on the pie label. And then we've got Mary Hopkin with Those Were the Days on the Apple label. We've got Laura Brannigan and Gloria on the Atlantic label. We've got Fat Larry's Band and Zoom, Wyme Records, or WMOT Records, I don't know which. And we've got Joe Stafford and Gordian McRae. So, Joe Stafford on one side with the old rugged cross, cross. I like Joe Stafford's voice actually, and In the Gloaming. Music for Pleasure label next, it's Ken Dodd and the Diddy Men. And we've got Do Doddy's Diddy Party on one side and the Song of the Diddy Men on the other side. I know Hannah would like that. Hannah Nixon, my friend. Then we've got MGM and this is Connie Francis, Among My Souvenirs. This is great. Look at this label. And Do You Love Me Like You Kiss Me? I love Connie Francis. So I'm really happy to have this in my collection. So we've still got loads to go. And we got Andy Williams. This is side B, it's Sweet Memories. And this side is Can't Help Falling In Love. Now, obviously we all know the Elvis version and the UB40 version. Next we've got Pilot. And it's January, it's 1975. Never Give Up on EMI. Some of these I don't know, that's why I like to get them, I don't like to, to try them. We've got uh, Jean Pitney here on the Stateside 45 label, well Stateside 45 RPM label, uh, made in UK by EMI and it's I'm Gonna Be Strong and Aladdin's Lamp. I love this label, the Stateside um, font. Columbia Green label, uh, Frank Ifield, I remember you. And I listen to my heart. So you can see there's lots of these. We've got another Frank Highfield. I think there's quite a lot of Frank Highfield in this one. This is a Lovesick Blues. And she taught me how to yodel because they did strange records back in those days. Parlophones, we've got a few scratches on it, but we'll see if we can clean it up. 
Adam Faith, a message to Martha. Sounds good to me. Quite a lot of Columbia's, quite a lot in the Columbia and Parlophone, it wasn't very similar. Again, Frank Ifield, go tell it to them on the mountain and angry at the big oak tree. You can hear Jennifer in the background, I know. This one is the honeycombs, that's the way. Now I think I've got honeycombs, so I might have this one. Uh, that's something I'll check when I go through them all. This is Frank Highfield again, say it isn't so and don't blame me. So we're going to have fun cleaning all these. Uh, the Seekers, Cinnamon and a world of our own. Avco. Okay, that's side B and we've got the Stylistics, a uh, star on a TV show. That's a great colour label. I like that colour. Right, babe? Jennifer's throwing cuddly toys around. Next, we've got uh, RCA Victor Black Label. This one is a bit battered. It's the Monkey's Daydream Believer. I'm hoping it'll clean up all right. And on the back is going down. And we'll, we'll see what it plays like. We've got... Uh, the Four Seasons, December 1963, oh what a night. So this is one of the songs we really love. So and yeah, doesn't look too bad for Dixition. Glad to have that in my collection too. Uh, Cliff Richard, Wind Me Up, Let Me Go and The Night. Phillips uh, uh, record here. We've got, oh, The Springfields. Uh, Stay, I Won't Be There. So The Springfields is Dusty Springfield and her brothers. Before she went solo. We've got on the United Artist label, we've got uh, from 1975, Maxine Nightingale, right back where, right back where we started from. I can't even speak. We've got uh, uh, Paul and Paula, Young Lovers and Behaby. Give me a sec. Okay. We've got here, Jerry and the Pacemakers. It's going to be all right, and it's just because. Again, that's on Columbia Blackley. RCA from the 80s, Bucks Fizz, Making Your Mind Up. So you see, it's a right mix up of stuff. Uh, Cliff Richard, Marianne, and Mr. Nice, again on the Columbia Black Label. This one's had its middle taped back in for some reason, and it's Pat Boone. Moody River and a thousand years, so I don't know why. And we've got Decker, Val Dunican, Will Talk and Only the Heartaches. Frank Highfield again, One Man's Love and Mule Train. This person really loved Frank Highfield. And we've got, who's this? PJ Proby, somewhere from West Side Story and just like him. Hi, this is a um, um, EP, Mr. Joe, Mr. Joe, Mr. Piano Henderson, Sing It With Joe, Volume 2, that's side A, there we go, so he's got on here, Let Me Call You Sweetheart, Peggy O'Neill, Together, The Sheik of Alibi, Whispering, If You Were The Only Girl In The World. Oops, then we've got, oh, this one's really scratched up, so this one will probably go in the bin. It's Harry Seacombe, again, bless this house. We've got Manuel and the Music of the Mountains, Rodrigo's Guitar Concerto de Aranjuez. The, uh, half, if Paradise is Half as Nice by Armand Corner. The Marmalade. Rolling My Thing and Reflections of My Life. And finally, Gilbert O'Sullivan, Why Oh Why? And You Don't Have to Tell Me. That's all the ones that didn't have a sleeve. So next, we'll be going through all the sleeved ones and there's lots of them. Okay, I'm back. So as you can tell, it's all quiet. So a few hours have passed now because life got in the way. Battery ran out, had to go and get. Uh, Paul came in, uh, we had to put Joan for bed and did our quiz. So I'm back now with some more. Some have picture sleeves and some don't. The first one is, uh, if there's a few without for us to start with, You'll Never Walk Alone, Shirley Bassey, and then Ave Maria on the other side, on the Columbia. 
got a signed sleeve here from somebody named Ryan and Ronnie um, called Land of Song, Bloodwin and Mary, Ryan Davis and then Mavanwi. Um, so Ted Boyce on Oyster. So I've no idea who they are but it is signed to the um, original owner. Then we've got uh, Nicole, a little piece. I've got this already, so I will be putting that to one side to just get rid of on eBay at some point in a bundle of singles. Billy's top 10, Billy Bonzo Rules OK. So I've no idea. So it's a, a bit of a, it's a kid's one, really, I think, by the look of it. Then we've got the Buggles video killed the radio star. You can't hurry love by Phil Collins. Sorry about the shiny lights. It's not like I can do about this one. Julio Iglesias, my love, featuring Stevie Wonder. Superman featuring Black Lace. Oh, sorry, by Black Lace. Sorry, I'm not with it. This is where we get into some. There is some good stuff in here. So George Michael, Careless Whisper, love that song. Billy Ocean, Suddenly. Bross, I Owe You Nothing. Aztec Camera, Somewhere In My Heart. Madonna, Like A Virgin, or as Paul used to call it, Like A Birdie. At The Shadows, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. And Montezuma's Revenge on the B-side. Then we've got Rupert Bear and His Friends, You Can't Catch Me, so another kid's one. We've got the Bell Stars, Sign of the Times. We've got Boomtown Rats, I Don't Like Mondays, classic. We've got... Max by Greaves, I can't even say anything about Max by Greaves, do you remember him? Deck of cards. We got Top of the Tots Pop Party Volume 1. <laughs> Obviously it's for kids, you can see it's got uh, Lily Pink, Sugar Sugar, Tweedledee and Yellow Submarine on it, a couple of dolls. And then on the list it's got a list of all the records that they put out for the kids, Mr Pickwick. Another one is Happy Birthday to You and Birthday Cake Walk, another kids record. That's why some of these are quite funny to, to look at. We've got the, the Seekers. The carnival is over and we shall not be moved. Um, we've got, uh, I don't know this one, I don't think. I might, when I hear it, BVSMP, I need you. Survivor, Eye of the Tiger. Great song. And then we've got a Roger Wicker basket, I mean Whit Whit Whitaker, The Last Farewell. And special kind of, what are Wicker baskets? <laughs> That's what Kenneth Williams used to call him. Cliff Richards, Celestial Houses, and Take Me High. It's probably some religious stuff off of him. We've got Julie Rogers, Like a Child, on the Mercury label. Rod Stewart, um... Baby Jane, uh, Seven Tears, uh, the Goombi dance band. Now we've already got that one, so that is going to go into my duplicate. I'm going to pick up a few more now. Some of them I'll have to check because I'm not sure, but some I know I've got. We've got Paul Young, uh, Love of the Common People. Then we've got uh, Boney M, Mama's Boy Child, Oh My Lord. Don't know if I've got that one. I know I have got some uh, Boney M. Men at Work Down Under, I might even have that one. Uh, David Essex, A Winter's Tale. Some of these weren't actually in their sleeves and I had to find the sleeves and put them in and I did do that. Another Mr Pickwick one, uh, which is we've got a Mary Poppins by the New York Theatre Orchestra with soloists and chorus. So it's just a, a EP of songs from Mary Poppins, some water damage to the label. Then we've got the new Seekers, Boomtown, and I'd like to teach the world to sing. We've got the Nolans, I'm in the mood for dancing. 
another Andy Williams record here, uh, almost there, that side B, and uh, Can't Get Used to Losing You on this lovely, lovely CBS label, I love that colour one. We've got Otto Van, Hands Up, Give Me Your Heart. We've got Slick, Forever and Ever. I like the silver label on these uh, Bell records. And we've got Jim Reeves, A Stranger's Just a Friend, and I Won't Forget You on the RCA Victor Black label. Lots of them. Now we've got, this is one of these really weird records. Hawaiian Magic with Ken Griffin at the organ with Andy Nelson on Hawaiian guitar. So it's just it's an EP, Song of the Islands, Song of Old Hawaii, Sweet Liliane and Blue Hawaii. Uh, cool in the Gang, Cherish, Celebration. I'm assuming these are all correct. Um, the ones I have checked are correct. So We've got Band-Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas. We've got UB40, Red Red Wine. The only one of those I actually do like. We have got the Three Degrees, Giving Up and Giving In. And then we've got another Ottavan one. We've got the ISCO. So two of their classics in this one. You can see there's a lot of them. I'm plowing through them as much as we can. I can. Just pulling out great big, well, piles of them. So we've got Adam and the Ant, Stand and Deliver. So you can see the original owner has their name written on it. We have got another MGM one. This is a, a more modern one. I'm not as keen on this one, but this is Gloria Gaynor and Reach Out, I'll Be There. Then we've got Johnny Mathis and it is I'm Stone In Love With You on that gorgeous CBS one. As you can see, they're not in the right sleeves. It's a CBS record in a Columbia sleeve, but it is where it goes. We've got... Um, uh, Bounty uh, by Tahiti. Oh no, it's Tahiti from the musical Mutiny on the Bounty. So this doesn't really explain who it is. I'm assuming it's cast. Oh, it's David Essex. There we go. It doesn't say on there it's David Essex. Uh, musical Youth, Past the Duchy. Now this is really thick. Oh, there's actually two records in here. So let's just take that one out. So they're both musical youths. Um, and the second one is Never Gonna Give You Up and Rub and Dub. And then it's got, it says something about Jim will fix it, which we won't even go into, but uh, she's obviously kept them in those two, but I'm gonna actually split them up and uh, put, because I don't like that when it's like that. Another Bucks Fizz single, The Land of Make Believe. Love these 80s outfits. This is another one that feels thick, but it is only one record because it's more of a cardboard sleeve. And that's Shaking Stevens, This Old House. Then we got uh, Kajagoogoo, Too Shy. Some of the backs I'm not showing because it's pretty much more. Then we got Stars on 45 3 again by Star Sound. 17 favourite instrumental intros. So I have no idea what that sounds like. So Star Wars titles, can't give anything but my love. Kung Fu Fighting, and so on. And then we've got another one from uh, Greece, A Summer Night and Rock and Roll Party Queen. I'm not sure if I've got that one. I will have to check. Kim Wilde, Kids in America. And then again, we've got an EP, which is Festa Trop Trop Tropicana, Dances from South American America by Ernesto Campos and his Brazilian Ensemble. And then we've got De Vincent Alvarez and his Tropical Orchestra and Enrico Donaldi and his orchestra. So it's, um, again, I'm not really showing you properly, but Latin American music, that should be interesting. I've got this one already, it's Billy Joel Uptown Girl, so I'll put that in the duplicates pile. If I do find one where the condition's better, I'm obviously going to keep that myself. And we've got UB40, Please Don't Make Me Cry. We've got the Tweets, the Birdie Song. Who remembers the Birdie Song? 
the Joe Boxers Boxer Beat. I might have that one. I think I do. Uh, Dexy's Midnight Runners, the Emerald Express. Then we've got uh, Bad Manners. And this one is uh, Armchair Disco. And the other side, which I think is A's Can Can. So that's the Bad Manners. A little special label there. We've got Wham! The Edge of Heaven. And she's got two copies of this, so I need to have a look at that. So I'm going to put that separate. We've got I Know Him So Well by Elaine Page and Barbara Dixon. She had really strange taste, this girl that owned all these. Very eclectic, very like myself, I guess. Then we've got um, uh, Nick Kershaw, I Won't Let the Sun Go Down. Great song, that one. We've got Colch Curb, one of my favourites, Karma Chameleon. Love that. I think I might have that, but I'm not sure. Uh, Alvin Stardust, I Feel Like Buddy Holly. We've got the Masonettes, and it's something called Heartache Avenue. I have no idea. Then Banana Rama, Nana Hey Hey, Kissing Goodbye. We've got uh, Malcolm McLaren, Double Dutch. I'm just going to actually, can I come out of it? Yeah, just slightly, because they're not quite in. It's because I need to hold them there, but they're shinier than the other ones. This one I've got, and it's IOU by Freeze or Frears, I'm not sure, but I have got that one, so that goes in my duplicates. I've got two copies of this one. This is my third copy of <laughs> Moonlight Shadow by Mike Coldfield. This cover is definitely in better condition than my copy. Um, and record looks pretty good too, so I might keep that one, but I'll put it in the duplicates. And then we've got this looks sometimes it really is working out what side is side A. And uh, we've got Ray, Racy, Lay Your Love On Me. Here's the other Wham, The Edge of Heaven. So she's got the two disc thing, but she's only got the one in there. And she's got one disc in one. That's C and D, and that is A and B. So that's complete. Now this is a duplicate, because I do have this, I bought it when it came out, but her copy's in far better condition than mine, so I'm definitely keeping that one, but I'll put it in my duplicates for now. Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson, Say, Say, Say. I might have that. I will need to check. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Two Tribes. Um, this is Gritty Politti, The World Girl. Uh, Elton John, Nikita next pile so as you can see there are just loads of these um and then we've got let's just have a look and save that one for last because that one's interesting not because of what it is um not because of what's on it but because of what it's what it is push that out of the way uh next is uh, time after time by cindy lauper that's a good song Decker label, we've got, <laughs> this is the Smurfs, uh, Father Abraham and the Smurfs, and we've got the, the Magic Flute Smurf, which is the B-side, and the A-side is the Smurf song, so another one for the kids, so that would probably be in Jennifer's pile. We've got, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Relax, I said there's some really good records in here, uh, Sister Sledge, Frankie, I've got the 12-inch version of this, I bought that in the 80s, now it's nice to have the 7-inch as well. We have got Wham! Last Christmas, we don't want to go Whamageddon, so we have to listen to this before December. Put it away, never to be heard from again. Uh, Thompson Twins, Doctor Doctor. It's all these classics. Oh, I love this song. It's really, 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 um, you know, sad. No, it's not. It's uh, The Kids From Fame and Star Maker, which I really like that song. We've got... Uh, Diana Ross, Why Do Fools Fall In Love with the Black Capital label. Words, F.R. David, I know I've got that one. I've got quite a lot of fun. We've got The Kids From Fame Live with Friday Night and Could We Be Magic Like You. No, I haven't got that. Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton, Islands in a Stream. Nice. See, she had such a great musical taste. Um, Irene Cara, Flashdance, what a feeling. I mean, come on. This is, this is my childhood. <laughs> These are my teenage years. 
uh, Dionne Warwick, All the Love in the World. Fabulous. Can't wait to clean these. I'm doing this because I want to go and clean. You just never know that you know, there's an auction tomorrow and I might buy something. There won't be, that'll be over by the time I finish. So we've got Tracy Ullman with They Don't Know, which of course was written by Kirsty McCall. We've got Ray Parker Burt Jr. and the Ghostbusters theme, which I love. Particularly by Andy and the band. Andy and the Odd Socks. Tracy Ullman's version of Move Over Darling. I don't know this version. Obviously, I only know the Doris Day one. And we got... Madness. Madness is all in the mind. Great cover. And then we've got the original Madness Our House. Another poor young one here, wherever I lay my hat. I'm not going to tell you what my voice coach said about him. Thompson Twins, we are detective. I love the cover for this, this record. Another Paul McCartney here, we've got the Pipes of Peace. And then we've got Wham, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. There's some brilliant records in this pile that I didn't like because I wasn't into music at the t necessarily at the time. Another Wham one, another great Wham one. Club Tropicana Drinks are Free. I love this song. Uh, uh, Nick Kershaw, wouldn't it be good? Oh, these songs, I can hear them in my mind. Another shaky song, You Drive Me Crazy. Um, another classic, Nena, uh, Nina, Nena, how do you pronounce it? 99 Red Balloons, I love that song as well. Both the German version and the English version, great. Uh, Wham, Bad Boys. Then we've got something called Instant Poetry. This is from 1974. This is the year I was born. That's interesting. And it's called Golden Earring. And on the back is From Heaven From Hell. So that's a nice little epic, little epic um, cover, isn't it? Uh, Magnet Records. Oh, this is from uh, Guys and Dolls. Oh, this is called Guys and Dolls. I have no idea. Um, there's a whole lot of love in. Anyway, it's what it's called on uh, Magnet Records. It's cool. <laughs> the Nolans, who's going to rock you? I don't mind. It's, to me, it's all good fun. It's all good fun. This is another kids one here. We've got uh, Nursery Rhymes. So it's three by Mice Girls and Mice, Wee Willy Winky, Harry Diggy Rock. I had a nut tree sing song sixpence, Twinkle Twinkle, Tom Tom the Piper Sun, Cecil Marjorie Doll, and Jack and Jill. But I love the... Um, Little pictures on it. I just think they're lovely. And back it says, "Color this drawing with crayons or paints." I just love that they put records out for kids like this. It's just fantastic. It's not actually in there though. It's the Carpenters. Oh, that's interesting. I'll take that one out. So this is why I have got to actually check them all. So this, is please, Mr. Postman. There we go. Pop that in there. So that's why I have to check them all, but I will check them when I clean them. So I'm actually just going on what they say. Uh, Blondie, the tide is high. So these are great because I don't have to take them out because I can see it's right. We've got uh, the Walker Brothers. No regrets. I like the colour of this. We call it label, but it's not. It's um, embossed in. It's, it's nice. Can't remember what they call it. Oh, I think this is this is the one that goes this is the one that goes in this sleeve. Cecil Marjorie Door, Three Blind Mice, yeah, if I had tree, Hickory Dickory Dock, and so on. And on the other side, goes my sleeves. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that one out of there and pop it back into this sleeve. So some, uh, somewhere along the lines it got separated. So that can go in the recycling bin. The next one is um Tom Jones and it's Green Green Grass of Home. Great song. Um, and this is this is actually from It Ain't Half Hot Mum. It's Whispering Grass by Windsor Davis and Don Estelle. And on the other side is I Should Have Known uh, by Don Estelle. So that this one here is actually from the TV series or the film It Ain't Half Hotman, which starred Winston Davis and obviously Don Estelle and various other people. I used to love that bit of programme as a kid. 
modern romance, the best years of our lives. Look at those 80s haircuts. It's got to be 80s. 1982. Yeah. Uh, Elaine Page and Memory. Very nice. And the, the overture, I'm assuming, from Cats on the other side. So, don't mind a bit of Elaine Page. Another books, books for his one here. This is Making Your Mind Up. Didn't we have that earlier? I don't believe. Or is that three? It might be three separate books. But yeah, it probably is. And then we've got Art Garfunkel and Bright Eyes. There's a sad song. From Watership Down. And we've got Ray Charles and his orchestra. And these are ones I like getting because they're so different. And it's No, no Letter Today and uh, Take These Chains From My Heart. And it's on the His Master's Voice. So His Master's Voice or HMV is nipper which over in america is rta victor so they're the same sort of company it's just this is the british arm of it and then we've got oh, it's upside down hang on let me find it away this is your kind of music it's um joseph Locke singing um the soldier's dream and hear my song violetta so that's going to be sort of operatic she had very eclectic sounds. So next is, uh, taste. Uh, next is uh, Cliff Richard and it's Count Me Out and We Don't Talk Anymore. Now I do like We Don't Talk Anymore. It reminds me of being a kid growing up in um, Bristol in the 1970s, I'd say. Yeah, 78, so I was still in Bristol. Two more to go. I'm saving the best, well, the most interesting one for last. Um, so the next one is, is Tammy Jones and it's called Let Me Try Again and it's just this really nice epic yellow label like that. So the very last one, I think is one of the oldest ones here, um, it's hard to know what it is. It's from the film The King of Jazz. It's a long play record so to me that says it should be 33 and a third. But it's a seven inch. Okay. So it happened in Monterey is on one side and Lullaby Land is on the other side. And it's by G Dunnett. So I'm gonna actually have to look this up on the net. And this is its original sleeve. It's on Eclipse. Six pennies, made England, double sided, electro electrically recorded. And it just says that on both sides. But the difference and why I, I'm intrigued by this is literally the thickness of it now you can't see it here but this is so thick compared to a normal record so here's the carpenters and please Mr. postman and you can see they're this it's the same size they're both seven inches it's got a smaller label so i'm gonna have to look this up because it looks like it's got another label underneath it because this one's peeling off. The Victory, it's the same I think, but for some reason it's got it on there twice. And this, I don't know when it was made, there's no date on it. I know it was six pence, it just copyright may not be used for public performance. So I'm going to have to look this one up and see exactly what it is because it's very thick. It's not, doesn't feel like the normal plastic that these are made of. These are so much thinner. If you put them edge to edge, it's really hard to tell. But as soon as I picked it up, I thought that feels like a 78 because that is what it feels like. It feels like a 78, uh, but it's not. I'm just gonna go and quickly look this up and see who this um, guy was. Uh, the King of Jazz was the film, and G done it. And I'm gonna come back and tell you a bit about it. So I'm just gonna have quickly have a quick look because I think that's really Okay, I'm back. I have found a little bit about this and the labels and what it's about, but I haven't been able to find out anything about G Dunnett. There is a crack in this uh, shellac. It is shellac. It is 78. Um, it might play okay because the way it's it, the crack is, it's still together. There's a... It might not. Oh, she's off. Um... Anyway, what I found out was that the song, it happened in Monterey, as I said, was from the film The King of Jazz, which was released in 1930. I saw Paul Whitman and his orchestra, Bing Crosby was in it and such, such and such. 
Um, the record label, The Victory, um, was made uh, for Woolworths, the Woolworths company in the UK, and they sold at sixpence, um, by the Crystal Lake Company. Um, they started manufacturing records in autumn of 1928, and they ceased producing records in 1931, so it was a very short period, there was only like three years of production. Um, I went on to Discogs and had a quick look, but they didn't have this particular one on there, so I don't know. I don't know who Giordana is, so I want to play it to hear what he sounds like, but I am worried about the little crack. However, because it's such a nice and unusual record, and I don't own any other 78s, I don't know if you can, can see the crack. Yeah, you can just see it. It's just... Let's see if I can. It's there. And it is, it is split, um, but it's pushed back together very nicely, and I think it will play. Now, my record player will play 78s, and the needles will play 78s as well. So, I will play this. Um, I might play it on camera. Uh, I'll check out the um, information. I will do some more research to see if I can find out who G. Dunn it was, because he also sang a song called Lullaby Land as well. But as of yet, I haven't found anything about him. So this is shellac. It's a 78, but it's a 7-inch 78 rather than a 12 or 10-inch 78, which is fascinating, I think. So, yeah, it is damaged. Um, not badly damaged, and I think it'll play. It might not play very well. There is a few, bit of a... I don't know if you can see it. Um, there, that where the... In between the two, two bottom shafts of light is where the crack is. But it might play. I mean, I'm going to change my needle soon anyway, so I'm not worried about putting it, my stylus across it because I will be changing it. It needs changing um, soon. It's not completely dead, but it is getting to that point. So that is all the records I got from the auction house. There are records in tomorrow's if I decide to bid. I'm, I might. There's a few other things I'm interested in, so it depends. I'm really pleased with these. There's a lot of great 80s stuff in there that I haven't got in my collection that I'm happy to have. There's a few doubles, there might be some more doubles there uh, that I can bang together and pop a lot up on eBay for seven or eight quid, something like that, just to get rid of them and get some money back. I hope you've enjoyed this rather long video, I know it is very long, I'm showing you all these singles. I will do a uh, vinyl update on LPs soon, there's not that many, I haven't been buying very many, I have bought a few though. So I really hope you've enjoyed this um, video and uh, yeah, I'll let you know if this plays, and if it does, maybe we'll have a little listen to it on uh, camera, as long as I can check out that uh, it's not copyrighted on the thing. I would imagine it's probably not, because it's so obscure, so we might be able to get away with a little bit of it, so we'll just see how it goes. Like I said, I'm changing my stylus anyway, so I'm not worried about that. I'll be here starting the cleaning process of this, these tomorrow. It's going to take me a long time. So I'm off to bed and I'll see you soon. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very long 45 video, um, Vinyl Lovers. And I will see you again, hopefully a bit sooner, with another video. It has been a while. Bye now.